Today we're going to discuss central line models and these phantom models for procedural guidance. Specifically, we're going to talk about the Blue Phantom. I do not receive any sponsorship or funding from Blue Phantom, but this is the model that we have in our simulation center. And we're going to discuss the issue of purple vessels, meaning if your artery and your vein are filled with red and blue dyed fluid respectively, and you notice some of your vessels are starting to turn purple. This is a task trainer you may be familiar with for ultrasound guided internal jugular vein access where you have an internal jugular vein and a common carotid artery that can be visualized at ultrasound. This brand and other brands will have a insert that can be removed, which has the vessels for the puncture site, which can be replaced when these start to wear down. There's also a femoral access site and a particular note on this one, you can see the little bulb where you're going to squeeze that bulb to push blood flow through the pink vessel or the red vessel, which is the artery, in order to create pulsations. Here you can see an ultrasound image of the femoral insert where we have just refilled it. You can see deflectors from the fresh injection of the dyed fluid to refill the vein and the artery. The artery is much smaller, the vein is larger, and a little more posterior in this section that's visualized. Now when we squeeze the bulb, some fluid will be ejected through the tubing into the artery, causing the artery to expand and pulsate. And you can see here that as we squeeze our artery, that it creases in size, some of the deflectors are moved through there, but you notice in the vein that there is some movement within there, and what's happening is those deflectors are being moved. What this tells me is that there is a fistula somewhere between the artery and the vein from a through and through stick from a user at some point. And what happens is when I squeeze the bulb, the artery distends, causing that pulsation, but it also squirts some red fluid from the arterial colored dye into the vein. And this is why we have that mixing. This is why you have purple vessel. At some point, there is a fistula, and you can see here as we scan in a little different area, as I squeeze on that bulb and the artery distends, you can see a little bit of that arterial fluid squirting into the vein there. So there's a little hypocoic spot between the two vessels, and there's a small fistula within there. And this tells me that that is why we are having a purple vessel, because of a through and through stick through the artery into the vein, causing that fistula. Here's an ultrasound image from an internal jugular inset, and this is one with an electronic pump model. And what that means is there's a pump that you plug in that causes the pulsation of the artery. And what that does is it continuously oscillates blood flow through the carotid artery insert and creates that pulsation. However, you can see the internal jugular vein there. We see some swirling of deflectors within the internal jugular vein every time the artery pulsates. And as we scan through, we can see what looks to be a break in the tissue insert there and what looks like a fistula. And as we put color on that, we can see that there's actually flow through that fistula. We can actually visualize the fistula between the artery and the vein. And you can see the color flow pattern as that pink fluid is squirted through the fistula into the vein. And this is the cause of our purple fluid. And you can see that to and fro swirling or yin yang pattern, characteristic of fistulas in real life. We can even place spectral Doppler on the entrance of the fistula and we can see arterial pattern with a little bit of reflux showing that we do in fact have an electronic fistula connecting both vessels leading to our purple vessel. So just some interesting images that if you notice your veins are turning purple, scan through your insert and look for that fistulous connection which may appear differently between the hand pump model and the electronic pump model. And that's part of why I prefer the hand pump model because the fistula does not seem to be as large or as continuous as when you stop pumping, that tissue has a chance to potentially reseal between the two vessels compared to the electronic pump model, which continuously pumps fluid through that fistula. And you can see that it was much more prominent with both color and spectral Doppler patterns. The other way around it is just fill both vessels up with the same color fluid. And then it doesn't matter if there's a fistula connection as the color will not change. In that case, you'll have to rely on ultrasound imaging in order to verify confirmation of the correct vessel cannulation. And don't forget to subscribe on YouTube and on Twitter.